All right, so today we're going to be talking about biochemistry. So the chemicals that make up living things. Now let's think for a second. What is the smallest thing on Earth? Do you know? Elements are the simplest form of matter. And elements that we're going to learn about that make up living things are carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, and phosphorus. So these elements, you can abbreviate them CHNOPS, C-H-N-O-P-S, carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, phosphorus, sulfur. Um, it might be an easy way to remember them, but these are all of the elements that make up living things. Okay, you might have seen elements in a periodic table, like this one here. You may have seen this before, but these are all of the elements that are found on Earth. Hydrogen, lithium, beryllium, and a lot of these are probably very similar in different languages. So um, some of this might be easy for you if you have learned science in a different language. So to answer that do now question, the smallest thing on Earth is an atom atom. So these are the smallest unit of matter. Remember, matter is something that takes up space or has mass. So everything on earth is made of matter. and Everything on earth is made of atoms. This is what an atom looks like. Let me move my face up here. Atoms have three parts. Protons, which are in the center, in the nucleus of the atom. Neutrons, which are also in the center, shown here in red. And electrons, which are around the outside of the atom in the orbital. This is called the orbital, and we'll talk about that later. Protons have a positive charge. That's why I have a plus sign here, positive charge. Neutrons have no charge and electrons have a negative charge. Okay, now I want you to pause the video for a second and in your notes, see if you can color this diagram of the atom. So I want you to color the neutrons blue. So you can see here the neutrons look like these, the electrons green, and the protons red. Remember, the protons have a plus sign because they have a positive charge. The electrons have a minus sign because they have a negative charge. The neutrons do not have a charge. Now let's see if you can complete this practice. Pause the video and give it a try. All right, so the positive charged particle of the atom should be a proton. So right here you should write proton and this location is in the nucleus, right, in the center of the atom. Electron has a negative charge and this is located in the orbital around the outside of the atom. And lastly a neutron has a neutral charge, that means no charge, and that is also located in the nucleus. Okay, now let's learn how to read the periodic table. Okay, so when you look at the periodic table, there will be a square for each element. In the middle of the square is the atomic symbol. Atomic symbol. Usually this is one or two letters that represents the name of the element. The top number is the atomic number. And the bottom number is the atomic mass. Okay, so now I just want you to use your periodic table and give this practice a try. Pause the video. Okay, hopefully you were able to find the symbols of each of these and we'll go over this in class. Now let's learn what those symbols mean. Okay, that top number, the atomic number, that is the number of protons in the atom. 
Okay, so every atom of sulfur will have 16 protons in the nucleus of the atom. Normally, and in our case, every time, the number of electrons also equals the number of protons. Okay, so again, for sulfur, we will have 16 protons and 16 electrons for every atom. The atomic mass at the bottom, this number is the number of protons plus the number of neutrons in every atom. So in order to find the neutrons, we have to do a little math here. So you can take the atomic mass, this number, minus the number of protons, which is this number. Okay, so for sulfur, if we did 32 minus 16 equals 16, that is the number of neutrons in an atom of sulfur. Okay? So why don't you pause the video and give your practice a try?